In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips and tricks to help you edit faster in CapCut. Hey, welcome to the video. Now, if you haven't heard of CapCut before, CapCut is the video editing tool brought to you by the company ByteDance, which is actually the company that makes TikTok. Now, this app is actually really growing in popularity, mainly because it has hundreds and hundreds of effects and many trending effects that people are looking for. And also, it's free as well. So you can get a free version for your iPhone, for your iPad, for your Mac, or your PC. So it's pretty incredible what this software can do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you five things and five tips that can help you edit faster, or things that you may not know about. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first tip is about enhancing your face. And this is a crazy one. So here's a funny and unique feature that I haven't seen in many of the other video editors. You can actually edit your face. So here's a shot of me talking to camera. And the great thing about CapCut is that you can adjust your face with tons of different options. If you select the clip, go into the video panel to the right here, and then go to the enhance section. You'll have all of the options here. So if you tick your face, you have the option for single, or if you have multiple people in the shot, you can edit all of the faces in one go. I'll select a single for this one. And now from here, you can play with all of these options, such as making my face a lot, lot smoother. I can brighten my face up and I can even make my teeth whiter. How crazy is that? You can select your skin tone and make that brighter or darker if you want to. And then you can go into facial beauty and you have all of the needs and modifications that you want here. And the scary thing is they actually look very realistic in some cases. You can change your eyes, add makeup and much, much more. So get experimenting with this one and let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Next up is automatic captions. It's something we should all be adding to our videos and here's how you do it. To save as much time as you can when editing, CapCut can actually transcribe your footage and add captions automatically ready for you to upload onto Instagram or TikTok. To do this, select your clip, head into the text section in the top left here and select auto captions. You've got different language options, so select your language and press create and it'll actually do it within seconds. And it really is as simple as that. Now, if you want to edit how it looks, go to the side over here and you can change the size, the color, the font, and more. Next, let's talk about effects. And there are a ton of effects in CapCut. Now, this is one of the things that really makes CapCut stand out from all of the other video editing platforms out there. They have this panel here that says effects and they have a massive library of different effects. You have video effects and body effects. So if you click on them, you can see all of the different categories and even a trending category section. So this is super helpful if you're working on your socials and you really want to boost your videos. You can sample each effect by clicking on one like this. And then if you want to use it, simply drag it onto your timeline above the section. And then on the side here, you have the options to increase or decrease the strength of the effect, the size, and the speed. Now let's take a look at the body effects. These work similar to the face effects we looked at in CapCut, and CapCut will actually recognize your body and then will apply a cool effect to it. Just like we did earlier, I'm gonna drag it on and play around with the settings here on the side. Just get it to your preferred liking. Now a good tip to have a cleaner timeline is as you start to add more than one effect onto the same clip, instead of placing them above each other and creating this messy looking timeline, delete these and place the effects onto the clip itself like this. You can change the duration of the effect like this by dragging each side. But now when you apply more than one effect, you can toggle each one by clicking this section of the clip in the corner here and it will individually select each effect and you can edit both without having a messy timeline. Now we've all seen those green screen effects where you can make the background look completely different, but you do need a green screen to do that. Well, not with CapCut. CapCut can actually cut out the background from any video and here's how. So this is a really cool editing tip that you can use in your videos and you can remove your background. CapCut is actually going to do this automatically for you. 
So just select your clip and go to this section here under the video that says cut out. Then just tick this box here that says auto cut. It will take some time to process and CapCut will automatically cut it out for you. If you don't have a green screen, it will try its best to remove the background, but sometimes it can fail or miss certain sections, but it does actually work. You can then jump into the basic section here and then scroll down to canvases and you can choose a different background like this. You can also go into style and choose one of these cool styles that CapCut has in here for free. Now, if you want to have your cutout over another clip, and that's what a lot of us will want to do, just simply drag your other clip into the timeline and then place the cutout above the clip like this. You can now change the size and position of your cutout by changing the scale like this here, and then select your clip, and now you can move it with your mouse in the player section. Another great feature we all love because it really helps speed up our editing is keyboard shortcuts. And CapCut features keyboard shortcuts in both the iPad version and the desktop version. So as you know, here at Editor's Keys, we know a few shortcuts and we like nothing better than being able to edit faster and mastering a software. It's so, so important. It's the main way you can turn yourself into a professional editor. So if you want to see them, you can go into help here at the top and click on shortcut. And this shows you all of the shortcuts for CapCut. The good thing about CapCut is if you already edit on Premiere Pro or Final Cut, for example, you can select this drop down box here and they have shortcut layouts that are pretty much the same as the ones set out by all of the other popular editing softwares. So for this, we're going to use shortcut two, as this is the closest shortcuts to Premiere Pro. So select this if that's what you're using. And maybe you're using an Editor's Keys Premiere Pro keyboard. You could use this with CapCut. But would you like to see a CapCut keyboard? Let us know in the comments. Now, if you're fresh to editing and CapCut, get learning from any of the preferred ones. You can even customize each one and make them your own by selecting a shortcut number in the dropdown, change any of the shortcuts you want, and then click Save. And this will make your own custom versions. So here's 10 important shortcuts you should know if you're using the shortcut two section. Press backspace to delete anything on your timeline or a project bin. When you're choosing which point of the clip you want to drag into your timeline to edit, use the I key and this is going to set an in point and then press space for it to play and then press the O key to set an out point. This is gonna save you a load of time when trimming your clips, and it's also gonna make your timeline a lot cleaner. Next, press the C key for the razor tool, and now you can cut your clips. When you wanna go back to the selection key, just press the V key. Made a mistake? Simply press Command and Z to undo any mistakes you've made, and to redo, press Command, Shift, and Z. Want to zoom in and out of your timeline? Use the plus and the minus keys to zoom in and zoom out. So those 10 keyboard shortcuts there are the ones we use the most when we're using Premiere. So you can pull those along to use in CapCut. So I really hope that helps you. And let us know in the comments if you would like to see Editor's Keys make a keyboard for CapCut or maybe a keyboard cover for your iPad. So there we go, I hope those tips has helped you. We're thinking of doing a lot more videos on CapCut because we're enjoying using the program here. So if you'd like to see more videos on CapCut, please do let us know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.